Hello, and welcome to the Scientific Adventures of Beard Man. This section of the California Science uh, Test, known as the CAST, uh, this is the practice test. Questions 33 through 38 will deal with performance task dealing with these rabbits you see here. So let's get on to question number 33. In this performance task, you will answer six questions. A family plans to purchase two Californian rabbits. Californian rabbits are white with black points ears, nose, feet, and tail, and exhibit temperature-influenced color expression. The family finds a breeder who sells two breeds of rabbits pictured, Californian and New Zealand. The family purchases two eight-week-old California kits, baby rabbits, from this breeder. The family takes the kits home and places them outdoors, 30 degrees Celsius, in a rabbit hutch. After a few weeks, both rabbits are white with gray points rather than black points. The family wonders if they receive the correct breed of rabbits. The family starts to re research the genetics of coat color in rabbits and learns that color expression in rabbit coats is primarily influenced by five different genes, all found on one chromosome. These five genes account for 144 different color variations found in rabbits. In researching the genetics of Californian rabbit colors, the family learns that possible colors for the points include black and gray. The family then focuses its research on the C gene, color gene, and the D gene, dense dilute gene. This table summarizes the genetic patterns and phenotypes of the C gene and D gene. Inheritance, inheritance patterns of the C gene and D genes. So the C gene has an allele C superscript H, inheritance pattern dominant, Himalayan white bodied with colored points. The C gene also has a C allele, which is recessive, white without points, albino. The D gene, capital D, is dominant, black points, dense color. The D gene, lowercase d, allele, is recessive and has gray points, dilute color. Based on the rabbit's expressed phenotype of gray points, a member of the family argues that the rabbit's genotype for C gene is CC, meaning two of the recessive gene. Number 33. Based on this information, complete the sentence by selecting the best phrase from the menu. Crossing over during meiosis, environmental mutation, and gene cloning, cloning is responsible for the 144 different color variations found in rabbits. Go ahead and pause the video and mark your answer now. All right, as we take a look at this, let's go by process elimination. First of all, gene cloning is something that scientists do intentionally to them. There's no indication that the giants, that the giants, the scientists are intentionally changing these rabbits to get different colors. Um, environmental rate mutation uh, has to do with things like radiation or chemicals or high temperature causing changes in the genes. And again, there's no evidence of that. So crossing over during meiosis is really the only option left. Crossing over during meiosis is the cellular process that happens during meiosis when chromosomes of the same type are lined up. Uh, two of the chromosomes, one from the mother and one from the father, line up. Parts of the chromosomes can be switched. The two chromosomes containing the same genes, but may have different forms of the genes. Uh, this will help us the genetic variation, which helps to create the diversity of the species. In this case, presumably the 144 color variations. Moving on to question 34, based on the same passage, which scientifically correct um, question best challenges the family member's argument? Do the rabbits have the correct number of chromosomes and corresponding genes? Does biological sex have any influence on the expression of the rabbit C gene? By the way, that's option B. Uh, 
Option C, do the rabbits have a phenotype, albino, consistent with the CC genotype? And D, does having the CC genotype affect the color of the rabbit's coats? Go ahead and pause the video and select your answer now. All right, so as we take a look at this, we can see, uh, do the rabbits have the correct number of chromosomes and corresponding genes? Well, the prediction isn't about the number of chromosomes and corresponding genes. It's about the phenotype, um, which is uh, white with gray uh, points. Um, and so I think that one's not, it doesn't make sense. Biological sex, we don't even know what sex these rabbits are, I don't think. Um, so I don't think that's pertinent. Do the rabbits have a phenotype, albino, because uh, we were told that they think it's the CC, two of these, so white without any points, or albino, consistent with the CC genotype. Um, and no, at the moment, they've got gray points. So that seems like a very important question to ask. So that is the correct answer, C. All right, moving on to 35. So we continue the story of this family. All right, in anticipation of a heat wave, the family members move the rabbits from their outdoor hutch, 30 degrees, to an air-conditioned room inside their home, 20 degrees Celsius. Several days after the rabbits were moved, their gray points turned black. The family decides to take the rabbits to a veterinarian who treats and also breeds Californian rabbits. Refer to this table for genetic information about C gene and D gene. I just read this chart on the last one, so I'm not going to reread that, but feel free to take a look at it if you need. The family finds an online simulation that allows them to observe how temperature affects the rabbit's point color, assuming that the rabbits have at least one copy of the Himalayan allele, CH. Depending on the air temperature, the CH allele controls point color expression by interacting with the D gene. This table shows the simulation results for expressed point color in rabbits with the CH allele. Simulation results. Uh, when it's 20 degrees, capital D, capital D is black pointed. Capital D lowercase is bl black pointed. Lower D, lower D, gray pointed. At 30 degrees, they're all gray pointed. So the first question, which three questions should the family ask their veterinarian that would most likely help the family understand the genetic basis for the recent color change of the rabbits? Is it possible for these rabbits to be heterozygous for the C gene since the rabbits seem to express the Himalayan allele? Is it possible for these rabbits to be heterozygous for the D gene, since they now have black points rather than gray points? Is it possible for the rabbits to have eaten an unfamiliar food that caused a change to their genetic makeup? Is it possible that the rabbits have contracted a parasite that is affecting the expression of the C gene? Is it possible that the lower temperature of the room had an effect on the expression of the C gene? Go ahead and pause the video and make your selections now. Remember to pick three questions. So here we see that we're trying to figure out which three questions are being asked. So this one's about, could the rabbit have the CH um, recessive uh, trait or dominant trait? Um, and since it seems like a very reasonable question, since it's only with this CH allele that we see this color change in the simulation. Second, they wanna know about if it's heterozygous for D. I suppose I should mention heterozygous, hetero means different, so it means different uh, genes. So like, could it be the capital D and the lowercase d? That would be heterozygous. One CH and one C would be heterozygous. Homozygous zygous would be if they were both the same, like the capital D, capital D, or lowercase d, lowercase d. Okay, so uh, could, could it be heterozygous for the D gene? 
Yes, that makes a lot of sense because the D gene would be black pointed at lower temperatures and gray pointed at higher temperatures if that if the simulation holds true. Um, uh, so both of those are good options. Then we see, is it possible that the rabbits have eaten an unfamiliar food? Well, nothing in the simulation, nothing we've read indicates that their food changes the color of their points. So that doesn't seem like a great question based on their research. Um, is it possible the rabbits have contracted a parasite that is affecting the expressions of the C gene? Again, we see no mention of a parasite being mentioned. So then this last one must be true. Let's see what it is. Is, is it possible for the lower temperature of the room had an effect on the expression of the C gene? Well, that makes a lot of sense because we saw in the simulation that the temperature, when it uh, changed from 30 to 20, made their ears go from gray to black. So that's a great question to ask. Moving on to question 36, based on the simulation results and assuming that the rabbits inherited at least one Himalayan allele, CH, select the words from the menu that best complete the sentence. Temperatures 30 degrees and higher will act on the color gene, dense dilute gene of the Californian rabbits and cause the expression of the albino, gray pointed, black pointed, phenotype, even if the, the rabbit inherited a dominant allele for the gene. Go ahead and pause the video and mark your answer now. All right, so in this uh, one, we see that we're dealing with temperatures of 30 degrees or higher, which makes us think that we're gonna be looking right over here will act on the, and we see there are a few options here, color gene and density dilute gene. Well, if you forgot what those were, um, you might go back one screen and you'll see color gene right here and dense dilute gene. So C is the color gene and D is the dense dilute gene, which we see dense and dilute here. We see color, which kind of gives it away. But if you weren't sure, that's how you can tell. So which one is this going to be affecting? This one indicates that it will affect the color gene, okay? Which is going to change the color um, of the rabbit's points um, and cause the expression of the gray pointed phenotype, even if the rabbits inherited a dominant allele for the gene. Because typically without anything else going on, uh, the dominant gene would be the one that would determine what's going on and therefore give black points. But because of the Himalayan allele in here and the temperature of 30 degrees, then it switches to gray points. Qu question 37. The two rabbits eventually mate and the female gives birth to six kits. The kits are being raised in a 20 degree Celsius room. One kit is albino and five are black pointed. A family member suggests using this Punnett square to model the inheritance of the D gene for the newborn kits. Refer to these tables for genetic and environmental information about the C gene and D gene. So we looked at these, um, but this one tells you about the uh, dominant and recessive genes uh, for the C and D genes. And this one tells you about an online simulation they saw about how the temperature that they're living in affects the color of their points depending on their homozygous or heterozygous pairing of the D gene. Question 37 says, which scientifically correct question would best challenge the conclusions made about the kit's genotypes from the suggested Punnett square? A. Why is only one kit albino? B. Why do only some of the kits have black points? C. What are the genotypes of the two parent rabbits for the D gene? D. Can you make a prediction of point color without knowing the genotype of the C gene? 
Go ahead and pause the video and mark your answers now. All right, so if we take a look at these choices, we can see A is why is only one kit albino? Well, albino has to do with the C gene. So that is not going to challenge their assumption of the Punnett square for the D gene that we see up here. Why do some of the kits have black points? Well, any kit with a black point would have D, and so that kind of fits that some of them would have the D, as we see here and here. So that's not challenging their assumption. What are the genotypes of the two parent rabbits for the D gene? Well, if we found out the genotypes for the parents and they were different than lowercase d, lowercase d, or heterozygous, um, then that would challenge it. So that's a good question. Let's take a look at the last one to be sure. Can you make a prediction of point color without knowing the genotypes of the C gene? Well, we kind of know what's going on with the C gene because only one of them was albino and the other ones were all Himalayan where they had colored points. So probably that was um, a uh, two uh, heterozygous parents for the C gene. But that's not really the question here. It doesn't really challenge what's going on with the D gene uh, pun and square. So C is our best answer. So moving on to question 38. Based on the information in the tables, explain how both genetic and environmental factors can affect point color variation in California rabbits. Enter your answer in the box provided. Please pause the video and type up your answer. All right, so the key here is that you have to explain both genetic and environmental factors and how they can affect point variation in California rabbits. So the first thing is the genetic part. You'd explain how uh, if you have two recessive alleles, then you'll get gray points. If you have two dominant alleles, you'll get black points. If you have two recessive C alleles, you'll get albino or no points at all, no colored points, all white. Um, and so that's the genetic factors. And then down at the bottom here, Whoa. Down at the bottom here, we have um, the, ah, sorry, my computer's being a little funny. Give me a second. At the bottom here, we have the environmental factors, which are the temperature. So we can see that as the temperature changes, that can change the color of the points on the rabbits from black to gray for certain allele combinations. And just make sure you get both of those into your answer and you're good to go. And that concludes our biology performance task. Join us on the next episode as we look at the chemistry performance task in questions 39 and on. And if you liked this video, please click the like and subscribe button.